Hello, Tom Frezza here from the Naval History and Heritage Command with another one of our artifact spotlights. This is where we take a look at the Navy's timeline and pull out different artifacts and teach you about them. And today, we're going to be focusing on naval aviators from the Korean War. Now, the 1950s is a time of transition for naval aviation. There's, they, while they still have propeller-driven aircraft, they're starting to go into the jet age. So they're starting to look at more protection for the pilots and also how to better their survival should they have to bail out. So if you take a look at the, uh, the, the mannequin beside me, he's wearing equipment of a naval aviator from the Korean War. And one of the first things you notice off the bat is the helmet. Yes, he's wearing better head protection than uh, what they were wearing during World War II, which was basically just a cloth cap that had the, uh, the headsets in it. Uh, this one is almost like a football-style helmet, early football-style helmet of the era. Uh, it was painted gold, has the naval aviator wings on it, but you also see better ear protection. It has an integrated uh, headset on the inside, but also a microphone set up. And because, again, they're, they're starting to fly at higher altitudes, and they're also starting to see jet aircraft as well, you start to see uh, oxygen supplementing uh, taking place uh, more often. And we can also take a look at the survival vest that the, uh, the pilot is wearing. Uh, gone is the, the May West style life vest where uh, it didn't have any survival equipment on it except for what the pilots stuffed into their pockets. Now you have integrated pockets already on the, uh, the vest and not only do you have uh, uh, dye markers, but you have strobe lights, uh, shark repellent, uh, not the Batman style shark re repellent, but shark repellent nonetheless. But you also have other patches and, and uh, uh, items in here like uh, fishing equipment, flares, things of that nature. And the vest, of course, when you pull on the tabs, has the CO2 cartridges that help the, uh, the, the vest inflate. And if need be, you also have the, uh, the manual inflator as well. But again, they're starting to look at better protection for the pilot. So again, looking at this transition from World War II, and then taking a look at modern day, you can start to see the changes that happen with, one, the aircraft have higher rates of speed, meaning that they can pull higher Gs in the turn. So things must start changing for the aviators so that they can survive those high-speed maneuvers. So that is why you see these changes happening. But you also see things that harken back to World War II just a few years earlier, where they're still wearing flight suits and flight jackets uh, in the colder weather. They're wearing insulated jackets as well. But really, that technology hasn't really changed at that point, which is what you see a lot uh, happening with during the Korean War. And with that, if you're interested in learning more, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next Artifact Spotlight.